£20,375. That's the offer I've got back from WePlay Any Car today, which is the 4th of July. You'll be watching this on the 5th of July. Thanks so much for tuning in to part six of why is everyone selling their Mark 7 Golf far? If you're familiar with this series, basically week on week, I've just been kind of analysing the car market because it's just well it's bonkers to be honest with you i'm absolutely fascinated by it cars seem to be going up in value when they shouldn't really be um simply because of supply and demand as i have explained sort of in previous videos as well so please check out this series if you're not familiar with it but this is kind of up-to-date live pricing of my car for reference this is slightly less about 50 pounds less than what i was offered last week but still around the same sort of ballpark and obviously a, a week has now gone but this is the first time it's actually gone down a little bit um so a little bit interesting but let's go through some of your comments from last week's video and let's talk about where we're at this stage so yes here we go part six and some of your comments here to run through um yeah if you're not familiar this is just basically based on my 2017 mark 7 golf r i'm sort of just giving you offers of what my car is currently worth at this time just to kind of give you a gauge of what the market's like we're now sort of obviously in july um i think this is going to sort of continue again for sort of like another month into august um but yeah it's, it's re been absolutely fascinating i'm really interested to see what sort of comments you guys have you guys have and sort of share them with you um, so the first comment here, I've just bought a 7.5 RS State, hopefully we'll be picking up this week. I realise it's kind of the opposite to what the series is about, but I did sell my 7 GTD in the process, possibly going to lose out in the long run, but it cost me £6,000 to move from a 2016 GTD hatch, covered in scratches, dents, chipped alloys and that immaculate to an immaculate 2017 R estate, so I couldn't be happier. Thanks for all the videos, been watching you for years and you've helped me take the plunge. Just done a motorway valuation, it's coming out at £700 more than what I'm buying it for. So yes, thanks so much for the comment and thank you for so much for watching the videos over the years as well, I really do appreciate it. Um, yeah, again, it kind of just shows, you know, offered £700 more, it doesn't surprise me. I would actually say motorway, personally, is my recommendation, just from what I've seen from like the Golf R forum, that's what I'd be going for, that's that's what I'd be looking towards. Um, it just seems like they offer a lot more money. You send them photos and stuff and they come back with more of a comprehensive offer. We buy any cars, obviously it's got the speed factor, so they'll offer you slightly less, but interesting nonetheless. Um, personally, I think, you know, fantastic, well done for going for it. It's, it's a cracking car, it's an all rounder, as I've kind of said there. And it's always good to know that, you know, if you didn't like the car, you're probably worst case scenario gonna get your money back and it's just to sort of show you lot that this is actually happening you know real people are actually doing this and actually seeing this happening in the market um it is pretty bonkers i don't know how long this series is going to go on for it's going to go on for basically until the market comes back down and things go down by a few thousand pounds it'd be interesting to see how that looks um, but thanks so much for your comment there and congratulations on your new 7.5 r estate next comment here ever wondered what happens to your prized possession after we back get hold of it i was curious i did a bit of research and apparently they act as a kind of a broker prepping the car ready to sell through their, their covert network of dealers who then sell the car back to you, simples. Buy beware, I think is the phrase. And just to add on to that, they said, just to add BCA, formerly British Car Auctions, owns Weback. Also many lease cars are recycled through the same system after a quick valet, bit of tea cut and maybe a wheel refurb. These will typically be three year old and full service history, one owner, average mileage cars. Not saying these were necessarily bad cars, but transparency won't be top of the agenda. Maybe a better name. <laughs> would be we we sell, we sell any car um yes yeah, so yeah thank thank you so much for your points there and sort of doing and digging in a little bit further as you know you know that it's just it's a business at the end of the day they want to make as much profit as they can um fundamentally what i like about my channel is i'm just talking to real people i'm just a normal person i just am a car enthusiast i love my golf cars. i love other sort of like hot hatches fast forwards porsche stuff like that and yeah these guys they just want your money so for me I'd, i kind of want to give you the best advice to help you out in this situation if you're needing to sell your car um you know i'd probably lean towards motorway <laughs> firstly you know this isn't sponsored or anything like that that's just what i've heard um in the industry and yeah they're ultimately you know they don't lose out dealers never lose out and in fact they make a killing on these kind of things and they keep churning it out um so yeah do your homework make sure you know what your car is likely to be worth like i've i checked on ebay actually today and i saw an akrapovich and i'll put it on screen actually um you know feel free to bid <laughs> on it i don't know if it was buy it now if it was bid but it was starting at like twenty one thousand or something like that and um, had akrapovich exhaust it was a seven speed 7.5 in turmeric yellow i think it's called um looked fantastic looked stunning it had done eighty thousand miles or about yeah quite a few miles basically 
and yeah it, that's quite a good price i would personally say i'm 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 tempted um but yeah obviously if it is bidding then you know it could go a little bit higher and the mileage is the key um so yeah do your homework and yeah that's interesting to know what happens at the other end of it all because that's that's just it's just a piece of metal which people get rid of at the end of the day um whereas obviously for some people it means an awful lot to them it, you know you build your life sometimes around your car and your family and your friends um and if you're passionate about it and you enjoy it then yeah it, it means quite a lot so thank you so much for your comment there next question next um comment here says thought you need to own a car for three months before selling back to we back the m140 um i think they were commenting on another comment <laughs> and um yeah for me i don't believe this is in any sort of terms conditions you know i think you can sell it as to whoever you want whenever you want basically um you know it's your car it's your pride and joy if you bought a car and wanted to sell it a couple of days later you know you can um you know yeah you own it at the end of the day so you're responsible there's no time limit so that's where i'm at um if i'm wrong someone please let me know in the comments and yeah as always like share subscribe it does help build this community channel thank you so much for that that's the biggest part of it and yeah the more you support it the better it will become and yeah i really do massively appreciate it on this community channel and if you do comment in this video i will share it in next week's video which will be on monday which will be part seven um so yeah feel free to get your comments in it will really help other people out and I, I really do feel people are finding this series useful um so yeah don't forget to get involved and thank you so much Next comment here. Wow, I just got a, an online valuation from Weback on my 520D M Sport with 23,000 miles for 15,425. Got a second quote from a dealer for 13,000 pounds. Can you imagine? Um, so I believe that person's kind of saying that, yeah, the dealer will i'm not too sure if they're being sarcastic but I, i'm gonna go on the fact that they're not <laughs> and say that the reason why they put that comment in is that dealers will always try to get as much money as they can you know they might say to you oh well you yeah, know we'll match we back but they won't always you know and at the end of the day if you don't want to be look at that two and a half thousand pounds different that's a lot of money you know that's a lot of money which is your money at the end of the day you know your car's lost enough money as it is so it, you know do your homework do your own research we back is a very easy way to quickly check and a really good reference point um and frankly it's kind of at the low end of what you can actually get um, as I've mentioned from likes of motorway and stuff like that but it's a really good point and I just want people to be careful you know that's what I'm looking after and people on this channel and yeah it happens on every car as well that's a BMW so yeah again everyone feel free to get involved and thank you so much for that comment there next comment um the 5k above my settlement fee will be going towards my mark 8r which arrives in august september ordered it in march 28th getting in white 19th alloys winter pack blah, blah and ordered a club sport spoiler off um, aliexpress also getting a black wrap for the roof um quite a few comments kind of going on the back of that one so i won't go through them all wow that is a lot of comments and um, thanks for getting involved in all of that <laughs> um but i thought it was really really cool because if you just get a standard golf ar um not completely going off topic of what i'm talking about anyone's welcome to put any comment in in the automotive scope of things um performance pack will cost you two thousand pounds in the uk and for other reasons as well check your prices um generally the performance back you get a delimiter to 200 to 166 miles an hour you get a rear spoiler and you get drift drift mode and sort of nurburgring mode to be set and in the uk as well you get 19 inch alloys now what you can do is you can spec a few things individually and then you can say well actually you know club support spoiler it's a relatively it should be an accessible part you can get so yeah fit that and save on the monthlies or save on your your total cost so i think that's really really cool um yeah and the person actually someone actually asked for a link for the spoiler um someone also said it's you know difficult to get the car in time i completely agree with all the delays it's such a shame um and again this is why the car market's all over the place in for a car which is quite highly priced or you know respectably priced i should say they also said um, quoted nine months, a couple of months. Yeah, so it basically, and they mentioned the AliExpress app. If you want fancy checking that out, I have no idea what it is. So yeah, do it at your own risk. But that's quite cool to obviously get the club sport spoiler sort of thrown into your Golf 8R. Next question moving up there is again a bit off topic, but I do want to include this one because it's about and the prices anyway. The Mark II Focus RS has gone up crazy prices all around 30k. Surely prices will have to drop off by autumn. They don't seem to be selling at the moment, just doesn't make sense. All used cars have gone mad. Electric cars aren't even that green when the batteries have a massive carbon footprint to make the amount of electricity to charge one up. It takes more than 10 houses worth of electricity. I completely agree on the electric front. 
completely. Um, yeah, Mark II Focus RSs and actually even Mark Ones and Mark Threes are hugely desirable in the UK, like to the max. Um, I was very much looking for a Mark III Focus RS and I was priced out by the dealer. They wanted about £38,000 and that was well out of my price range um, just because of the demand at the time in 2016. They're really, really high and you're right, they don't seem to sell. There's a lot for sale. Um, and they seem to go through so many owners as well. Um, it's worrying times to find a good one. Find a good one is, is going to be very, very difficult. And if you do find one, you're probably going to be paying a premium for it. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, it's it's mad what's happening. And because of all what's going on and you're seeing the price go up in my Golf R, it's even more so on even more sort of, I know it's a weird thing to say, but it's a desirable, more limited run car in a way. It was only out for sort of like a year or so. Um, 2016 2017 time and obviously all the hype and all the fast forward fans myself included um, has kind of built up the price to that one but yeah absolutely mad and thank you for including that comment and um, yeah thanks so much for that final comment here thanks for all your vids bought my 2017 r with 5k on it for 25,000 two years ago and just sold it for 24,100 with 21,000 on the clock after seeing your vids only depreciated by 900 pounds sold to evan Hallshaw. yeah again fantastic and i'm in the same boat i've, I've had my car for four years and I'm getting an offer of about four and a half thousand pounds less than what I paid for it. And I've done 30,000 miles and I bought it only three months old. So not even really used at all. Um, yeah, it, it's absolutely bonkers. And I, as much as I love the Golf R, there are lots out there. So, you know, if and I, I again, I had my threshold of what I would potentially sell mine for. But I'd kind of be like on the... It's, it's a tricky one to get rid of because it's such a great car, but you can get back into a Mark 7, a 7.5, an Estate, or even potentially a Mark 8R if, if the prices dip. It's still a potential for that. And it's just great to see you can own a car and it costs you 900 quid, okay? I don't know if the car was on finance and you know you have interest rates and stuff like that, but even regardless, it's a fantastic proposition to then have a car and have so many miles on it. I think it's fantastic and that's kind of why I'm continuing this series. But yes, thank you so much for watching. Again, please comment, like, share, subscribe as well. It helps the channel, builds the channel so much. Really do appreciate your support. I've got some exciting stuff coming this week actually. Um, one, driving a 992 Porsche Turbo S, which I'm really excited about around Porsche Silverstone. And um, yeah, I'll share my experiences with you and tell you what that £170,000 car is like to the best of my ability. He's a big Porsche fan. Um, I'm also potentially checking out a GTI 40th edition as well, a car I talk about quite a lot. This is on the Mark 7, guys. So, yeah, let's hope that happens. And, um, yeah, I'll share that with you guys as well. But, um, listen, thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. <laughs> Enjoy the football this week. It's a big week for England. Um, huge England fan myself as well. So, yeah, let's see what happens. And I hope you all have a fantastic time. But thank you so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe. It really does help the channel. I'll see you again next time. Cheers, guys.